I at our website, WRMI.net. That's WRMI.net. Visit our website and share your QSL reports. This is WRMI. Over to show you Radio Slovakia International. Slovakia Today. So Thursday, the 13th of September, this is Zuzana Bocikova. This is RSI News. October 30th as one of state holiday. Cabinet approves pilot version of National Investment Fund and over 300 million euro investment into new ammonia production plant. October 30th this year will be a one-off state holiday to mark the centenary of the Declaration of the Slovak Nation on the October 30th, 1918 in Sochi and Martins. The Slovak Parliament approved an amendment to the public holiday act with 96 votes on one day. The 1918 document effectively declared Slovakia's independence from the Kingdom of Hungary and paved the way for Slovakia to unite with the Czech land to create Czechoslovakia. At this session on Wednesday, the cabinet approved a pilot version of the National Industrial Fund for the years 2018 to 2030. This document involves Slovakia priority topics and key long-term development in the fields of transport, energy, information and electronic communications, as well as in education, research, innovation, healthcare, environment, agriculture, social inclusion, employment and regional development. All projects included on the investment plan are based mainly on the existing sector strategy. However, the pilot version of the document has to be solved as a basis on the basis of Slovakia's decision and development strategy, which should be presented to the government by the employees of the The chemical industry giant, the Sochalia, has officially opened a new ammonia production plant. The investment in the factory called Ammonia Core, which is up to 310 million euros. Since early as 2014, the government approved a tax incentive for this investment worth up to a maximum of 58 million euros over 10 years. According to the Prime Minister Peter Pellegrini, this new may be able to increase the amount of the Sochalia, serial for the investment in Slovakia, and create new job opportunities. The CEO of the Sochalia, Peter Blaha, agrees that the investment was necessary as the previous production technology was already outdated. The electricity prices for Slovak households will increase by an average of 7 to 8 cents a month, according to the Network Regulatory Office. This is due to the increase in the prices of emission allowances on world markets, which grew more than four times compared to the previous year. In a follow-up, the MP for the Opposition Freedom and Solidarity Party, Karol Gallus, filed a motion with the General Prosecutor's Office to investigate the increase in electricity prices. He thinks there might be a different reason behind the increase in electricity prices, for example, an increase in the price of coal, which is mined in the upper Nitra region. Tropical issues. In his last State of the Union address on Wednesday, the European Commission President John claude Juncker reminded members of the European Parliament of the challenges facing the EU in the near future. Juncker stressed that the Union is a guarantor of peace in Europe which was also the aim of its founders, you know, again, to have a war on the continent. In his speech, Juncker called on all politicians to respect this image, adding that the manifestations of nationalism that led to the World War II in Europe must be condemned. In general, we must be more to regard the compromise. Compromise does not mean sacrificing our convictions or selling out on our values. We are all responsible for the Europe of today, and we must all take responsibility for the Europe of tomorrow, stated Juncker in front of the European Parliament. We have to take the first next year to the next year. Some of the world are in the middle of the and social issues, how the effort ends up changing the established decision-making process in the EU. When the new world is due to the progressive alliance of socialists and democrats, criticized the report as it failed to address the issue of further strengthening of economic cooperation and the growth of development of European countries' cooperation on European security. Even the standards of the European People's Party, both from the interest of police to Brexit, and emphasis on the need for a free market agreement. Moreover, Stefanos particularly appreciated the notion that we need to respect democratic institutions 
and freedom of speech and the press. Despite being critical of the report, Richard Zurich from the European Conservatives and Reformers Group said that the European Union was now in a better state than it was when John Paul Juncker took office. The regular news you heard at the beginning of the show was compiled from public press agencies and other media. Welcome to the English Broadcasters Radio Select International.